Tesla has made it a point to strongly emphasize that the Model S is their most premium flagship sedan. In most ways, the Model S is obviously better than Tesla's smaller, simpler, and more affordable sedan, the Model 3. However, there are some key advantages that the Model 3 has over the Model S, and I'll explain those right now. So let's get right into this video, starting with the first obvious advantage of the Model 3, the cost. The base Model 3, which should start delivering later this year, is $36,000 at its cheapest with that $1,000 unavoidable delivery fee. On the other hand, the cheapest Model S is $75,000. So technically you could get two base Model 3s for the same price as one base Model S. Kind of a two for one deal there. Now we still don't know how much a loaded all wheel drive performance version of the Model 3 will cost. However, it's kind of safe to assume right now that any Model 3 will be about half the cost of its equivalent in a Model S. So even if you get a Model 3 with the same add-ons and options as you would with a Model S, it'll probably come out to be about 50% of the price. The Model 3 is actually more efficient than the Model S. We'll get into the reasons why later in this video. However, that means that charging your Model 3 at home should cost less than charging your Model S at home when traveling the same distance because the Model 3 will use less energy when traveling the same amount of miles on the Model S. Also because of the drastic price difference between the Model 3 and the Model S, it's also safe to assume that the car insurance should be cheaper on the Model 3 compared to the S. So if saving money is a priority for you, choosing the Model 3 will definitely give you that advantage. Next up is battery and range. Based on EPA documents, all Model 3s come with newer 2170 battery cells. Now Tesla claims that the 50 kilowatt hour standard Model 3 has an estimated range of 220 miles and the 75 kilowatt hour long range Model 3 has an estimated range of 310 miles. However, Tesla was found to be underselling the estimated range of the Model 3. According to Tess, the long range Model 3 has a 78.3 kilowatt hour usable battery capacity compared to 72.6 kilowatt hour usable battery capacity in the Model S 75D. So even even though they're both equipped with 75 kilowatt hour batteries, the Model 3 actually has more usable battery capacity compared to the Model S. And what's even more interesting, according to the EPA, the $45,000 long range Model 3 actually has 334 miles of range compared to the 94,000 Model S 100D, which has 335 miles of range. That's a difference of $50,000 in price with just a difference of one mile in range. That's pretty crazy. And that means that Tesla is choosing to under advertise the estimated range of the Model 3. And not only that, but a Tesla executive said that the 18 inch aero wheels that come standard on the Model 3 can potentially add up to 10% range. Now some tests have shown that to be more around 5%, but even then that's something that the Model S still does not offer on their current lineup. And according to fueleconomy.gov, the long range Model 3 has 130 miles per gallon equivalent, which is much better than the 103 miles per gallon equivalent on the Model S 75. So on average, long range Model 3 only requires 26 kilowatt hours to travel 100 miles compared to 33 kilowatt hours per 100 miles on the Model S. Next up is the motor. The Model 3 actually uses a different type of motor than the Model S. The Model 3 uses a permanent magnet motor for high efficiency instead of induction motors that are used on the Model S. Permanent magnet motors used to be more expensive but have recently come down in price and still hold many advantages. The Model 3's permanent magnet motors are lighter and have better track performance. They also reduce weight and improve handling. The induction motor on the Model S is larger, it's heavier and less efficient resulting in more draw on the battery pack when compared to the permanent magnet motor. And permanent magnet motors are also more efficient than induction motors over a wide range of RPMs and more efficient at capturing region energy at low speeds. So even though the motor on the Model 3 is not necessarily a newer tech per se, it does still have some advantages over the induction motor on the Model S. Next up is interior features. Now the Model 3 has one of the most minimalist interiors in a car right now. It lacks a lot of the physical buttons and knobs that were typical in cars up to this point in time, and it replaced most of these functionalities with one big center mounted 15 inch touchscreen display. However, the Model 3 has some things that the Model S does not. For starters, the Model 3 has a small interior facing camera built into the rear view mirror. And while Tesla has not yet said what this camera will be officially used for, it's most likely there to provide some type of facial recognition features for autopilot or driver profiles and it's also very well meant to monitor the inside of the car when it's used in Tesla's future ride sharing network. I actually did an entire video about this. If you want to check that out, you can click this link here. The Model 3 center console has more storage space than the S and with the Model 3 premium upgrade package, it also has charging docks for two smartphones. The Model 3 has coat hooks, lighted vanity mirrors, folding rear seat armrests with cup holders and door pockets. The Model 3 infotainment computer has a liquid cooled and faster processor, which results in a more responsive touchscreen and the media control unit is now powered by an Intel SOC instead of the NVIDIA Tegra chip in the Model S. 
And the Autopilot ECU is still powered by NVIDIA, but it's worth mentioning that the Model 3 needs a lot more processing power because it has to do everything on one processor. The Model S runs the navigation, routing, and voice recognition on the instrument cluster computer, which divides the workload. And also, since the Model 3 has such a minimalist interior, that provides a better field of vision out of the windshield because it's completely flat all the way across the dashboard since there is no instrument cluster on the Model 3, and the front hood doesn't stick out as much as it does on the Model S. And the last key advantage that the Model 3 has over the Model S is size and space. And you might be thinking to yourself, Andy, how can that be? The Model S is such a bigger and more spacious car. Well, yeah, that's true. The Model S is designed to be a better, bigger car than the Model 3. However, the Model 3 has its advantages too. So when the mirrors are folded out, the Model S is only about 11 inches longer and 4 inches wider than the Model 3. However, with the mirrors folded in, the Model S is only 1.2 inches wider than the Model 3. And with the Model 3 being smaller, it's most likely easier to park and maneuver in tight spaces. The Model 3 has been reported to have better handling because of it weighing less than the Model S. The Model S 75 curb weight is 4,469 pounds, and the standard range Model 3 curb weight is 3,549 pounds, which is a difference of 920 pounds pounds between the two. The lighter weight of the Model 3 also results in better range when compared to a Model S of the same battery capacity. And what's the most surprising to me is that based on certain tests, the Model 3 has 1.5 inches more headroom in the front and 2.4 inches more headroom in the back compared to the Model S. Also, the Model 3 has the same amount of front legroom as the Model S and only 0.2 inches less legroom in the back. So even though the Model 3 is smaller, you may not notice it as much. So that wraps up my top five advantages that the Model 3 has over the Model S. Does that mean the Model 3 is a better car than the Model S? Absolutely not. The Model S has a ton of advantages over the Model 3. And I also expect Tesla to release a refresh of the Model S very soon, if not this year, very soon next year. But right now, as a Model 3 reservation holder, I'm going to fanboy on the Model 3 as much as I can until I get the car. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below and let me know, do you prefer the Model S over the Model 3? Or do you prefer the Model 3 over the Model S? And why? Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.